Well, the governor and education commissioner released their plans for going back to school in the fall. And Congresswoman Johanna Hayes, who is a former teacher in Waterbury and the 2016 National Teacher of the Year, tweeted some concerns about that plan. And she is joining me now live to talk about that. Congresswoman, thank you so much for being with us tonight. Thank you so much for having me. So obviously you see this from the perspective of a teacher. Tell us about your initial reaction to this new plan. Well, I watch, as you can imagine, just like everyone in the state with um, just cautiously optimistic because I've been wondering what the next steps for reopening our schools. And when it was over, I had more questions than, answer, than answers. And that was um, reinforced by many teachers, friends in the teacher community, my daughter, who's a teacher, asking questions like, how will we socially distance? Where will the PPE come from? How will, who will oversee the cleaning? And immediately for me, I was thinking about the disparities between our wealthiest and our struggling districts and how would we close those gaps to make sure that we could deliver education. I mean, obviously I want schools to open. I've been very supportive of the governor and his, the way he's navigated COVID-19, but on this, I had concerns. Well, we definitely had some concerns from our viewers too. We received hundreds of emails about this. What are your biggest concerns about how this all will work in the fall? Safety, 100% I want students, parents, and teachers to feel safe and confident that we have exhausted every possible scenario to make sure that they are safe. I hear, question, I hear conversations about the economy and employers and kids having the relationships of teachers and all of those are valid points, but kids don't learn when they don't feel safe, when they're hungry, when all these things are happening. These are things that I've championed before I came to Congress so it should be of no surprise to anyone that I would weigh in on a conversation about reopening schools. Of course. And just really quickly, yeah. from my side of Congress, that was the reason we passed the HEROES Act, to make sure that we had social workers and wraparound services and funding support to support state and local municipalities when they open. Just last week, we had a hearing on uh, reopening America's schools, where my question to this, the former Secretary of Education was about the mental health of our students. The Rebuild America School Act that we are we introduced and are going to reintroduce uh, parts of it at the end of the month to update HVAC and air quality systems in our older schools. All of these things are concerned because the kids in the schools that were the most impacted by COVID, our urban urban areas, are the schools that are going to have the hardest time making them safe for kids to return. Uh, one more quick question for you. We are running out of time. If you were still teaching now, how would you feel about going back to school this fall? I would have asked the exact same question that I asked as a congresswoman. What does this look like and how would be, it be implemented? Because I have concerns and I'm not confident. So again, my, my frame of mind and my decision making in Congress is, is shaped by my life experiences and probably the most crucial life experience I have in this is as a mother and a teacher. Without a doubt, Congresswoman Johanna Hayes, thank you so much for being with us tonight. We appreciate it. Thank you, stay safe. You too.